Oh, PDF.ai, how I've missed you. Wait, this is a new app. That makes no sense. You ever thought about scripting your videos better? Did I just throw a gun? I'll get it later. Regardless, this is a really cool tool that is brought to you by the same folks that brought you testimonial.to, which is a great partner of the channel. And it allows you to chat with any document. Now, I don't really talk to my documents often, but I want to. Man, I'm gonna start by doing Get Started for Free. It's signing into my account. And essentially how this tool works is, first of all, you can get a lifetime deal by going to here and buying it for $199. But essentially what it does is it allows you to upload different PDFs. So you can either import it from a URL or uh, select a document here. So I'm gonna select a dummy document here. For example, there's this In Praise of Idleness PDF. I'm, I'm a real big fan of this. I'm just gonna download it really quick. And if I were to select it, downloads, and upload it really quick, you'll see that I'm now able to interact with this document in a way that I'm not really able to with uh, other tools. So if I say, what is a basic summary of the contents of this PDF? And essentially it's gonna use the power of generative AI to give us an understanding of the different topics within here. Now, I know a TLDR about this, Basically, hey, you know, World War One's over. We were just arbitrarily blowing stuff up for a while. We probably don't have to work as much. Can be pretty cool. And then that obviously never happened. But this was written before that, uh, you know, people didn't realize how arbitrary, how much work we're doing is. And in this right here, you can see the document is titled In Praise of Idleness. So it figured out the title, which is obviously pretty smart. The author argues that there is too much work done in the world and that the belief that this work is virtuous causes immense harm. He suggests that the working hours should be reduced to four and the rest of the time should be used for leisure and personal pursuits. The author also discusses the significance of the scientific organization of production and the dignity of labor in different societies, including Russia. This was at the time during you know, post-World War I when communism started to get brought up general in the world with the Soviet Union. And he concludes that the great deal of harm is being done in the modern world by the belief of virtuousness of work and that the road to happiness and prosperity lies in organized dim diminution of work. And it even has some clickable spots here where I can go to the different paragraphs, and you'll see it'll highlight the different sections that it got this information from. Now, say for example, I wanted to dive deeper into this and say, what would be a counter argument to this article? And it gives me some information. So it basically says, hey, here are some things and some parts of it that it talks about what it believes. Here's a counter argument. So there is not a lot of situations where, you know, you're going to be able to in university tangibly be able to or in work tangibly able to take a PDF and synthesize it very well. I mean, it's just not like out there. I know we have ChatGPT or whatever, but it's not great with PDFs at this point. Now with PDF AI, uh, yeah, like, it takes the entire thing. It's a little bit different because, you know, we have the whole token limit. I don't know if you guys are aware with GPT-4, but essentially you only are able to put in like and get out about 4,000-ish words when you're working within it. But this is scanning the whole PDF, which I'm really a fan of. I, I, I love that it gave me some basic context and I'm able to work with it and get a summary. And for example, if I put what is some more of this say, that would be good to reflect on as it is more of an introspective essay. And it takes some specific quotes from within it to reflect on. I really like the way that this AI thinks. It's telling me some very basic spots in here that would get me to reflect. So if you had, for example, an assignment where you had to, you know, do some sort of reflection based on this or find some keywords, uh, we could also try that out. What are the main five keywords within this article? Interesting. So it's able to get keywords as well and specifically point out where they're at. Okay. That's really cool as well. So you, you kind of get the gist, right? If I press go back here now, you'll see that it's uploaded in the documents and then the chats as well are stored. And you can obviously clear them all out. So if I click on this, it show me the chat history. So this is really well done. I mean, like, hey, hey Damon, you, you make good stuff. I gotta say this testimonial. Shout out to this. Anytime I have, you know, friends who, you know, are still in university, they're going to be like needing to write some sort of research paper, get keywords. Maybe if you're in a research position, this could be a great opportunity. I mean, I know for me and my purposes, I, I'm, you know, self-help enthusiast. And sometimes there's just things that I want to read that are on a PDF. People for some reason don't release books or these things on better platforms. Regardless, I'm able to interact with them in a more cohesive manner by just uploading them 
to this platform and then interacting with it. And then I could have another conversation within this by having a chat here. And then for example, what is the most profound statement within the article? Oh, it can't determine it, eh, but it gives me the overall vibe here. That's interesting. At least it's, it knows that it's just AI and it can't define virtue. But as you can see, it's separated into different sections. And then the last thing I'll point out is that I obviously can take this. And if I copy the link, paste it in there and click on it, it also is going to be able to take this PDF in there. I mean, good. Hey, good work, PDF.ii. If you're interested in this tool, make sure to check it out. I'll put the link down below. And thanks again for sponsoring this video. And thanks again for checking out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.